Hi guys. Good evening. Hi teacher. Hi teacher. Uh, hi teacher. Hi teacher. Good evening, teacher. What a good day to be alive. Hi, teacher. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I don't know why. <laughs> How are you doing? Fine, teacher. Did you go to work today? Yes, I had work today and it was very hard. Daisy, where do you work? I work at Espertal. Uh, hold on. It is near the Vio de Pico, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually in front of El Batallon, is right? No, 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 no. It's in front of Metro Centro, Lourdes. Ah, Unicentro. It's now Metro Centro, seriously? Yes. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes, now the name is Metro Centro. Oh, yes, really? It's big. It's very near. It's near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's huge. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I'm happy to see lots of you in class. And we're going to get started. Give me one second. Can you see my screen? No? Yes. Job required. Okay. Let me double check and make sure this is where we left off last class. Give me one second. I can see the whole in the screen. In my screen. Yeah. All right. Can you read the objective, please, Veronica? Sorry, Veronica, could you read the objective, please? Individual listen to a conversation job requirement where gerunds and short responses will be used. All right, guys, let me um, can you hear me? change the net. Yes, I, I heard you, but let me change the network. It's a little bit bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to change the network. Give me one second. Okay, I hope it's better now. Let's watch the video. Try to mute the microphone, please. I can see my. Hi. My camera. I don't know why. Thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversation with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? 
a door-to-door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. Let's start with the conversation, all right? Um, do you have any words that you don't understand? Are there any words? Could you hear me? Mauricio, any words yes, that teacher. you don't understand? Yes, teacher. No words, okay. We're gonna practice the conversation, all right? Uh, first time, do it the way it is. And the second time, try to modify some things from it. All right, are you ready? We're working on section 5.1. So we're gonna work in pairs. Accept the invitation, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. Sorry, Mr. Wilson, are you there? You sent to us. Ah, is a. Vamos a ver. Is into the video. Yes, yes. Hi, teacher. Hi, Giovanni. 
always sound suspicious when you talk to me. Então... <laughs> you promised and then here you are. Okay, at least yeah. you kept your word. I know, I know. I saw you. <laughs> I see what you're doing. <laughs> well, it's nice to have but you we... attend each, every class. Okay. Sorry? Okay, thank you. Ah, ya la envió. Sorry. to sell baby products. Like diapers. Person things. That my, my. adult. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment. Director of Circus Chip. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I have never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to, have to work every day where the ship is at sea. That's okay. I didn't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It Hi, Rina. Everybody's coming back. Give me one second. Do I have any volunteers to present the conversation you modified? volunteers should i choose someone okay carolina go ahead but i can't hear you carolina you're muted oh there you are what what yes go ahead who are you working with is uh okay i am done Ooh, but hello you teacher. Have a, you have background noise and it's really bad Yes, I I I think that is my my connection with the internet in my house is bad. No, I'm talking about the dog. <laughs> ah, yes, my neighbor have five dogs. Uh, he lives in front uh, when the dogs are uh, is alone. Mm -hmm. uh, they start barking. Uh, is 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 uh, yes is barking for some time in the night, oh, night. Uh, the dogs are 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 alone 
right now. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Okay, well. Uh, Giovanni, who are you working with? Uh, with Carolina and Anna. Carolina and Anna. Anna okay, do, it, do it with Carolina. Go ahead. Lights, camera, action. Uh, I am done. I okay. am so worried. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the newspaper? Uh, how about this? Uh, uh, send uh, I, I door to door selling sales person to well a uh, uh, pharmaceutical product. Like uh, aspirin or Pepto smoke. No thanks. And anyway, I'm not a good selling. Well, I am. I meet check done one out. Oh, here's one for you, an assistant, entertainment director, on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It say here you have to work every day why the ship is um uh, is at sea that's okay i don't mind working long hours if the pay if the pay is good what's the phone number my number is uh seven uh, seven six zero six uh seven five six uh six zero that's a long okay. number. <laughs> it was great. I'm positive for them. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's mute the microphone. Those dogs want to speak English so bad. All right. That's better. They're going to bark in English. Okay. Uh, we're going to work with gerunds, all right? And you probably noticed how they were using that in the dialogue. Read the objective, please, Franklin, and welcome. I hadn't seen you, Franklin. Long time no see. Franklin, go ahead, read the objective, please. By the end of this class, you will learn how to make statements with germs and given short responses. Very good. So this is the one. Let's pay attention to the structure because we're going to practice that, all right? Um... Responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They're good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problems. 
He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject, or noun or pronoun, after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. I don't mind working. All right. I guess you have a lot of questions, don't you? Um, let's read some of the, um, we're gonna start with the easy ones, okay? We'll, we'll have to study this quickly because we only have two days left. And this is a long topic anyway. So look at the expressions. That's what I want you to start practicing with. All right, uh, repeat with me and say, I like, I like, I hate, I like, I like, I hate, I hate, I'm good I at, hate. I, I'm I good at, I am good at, I am good at, I am good at, I'm good at. All right, those are the expressions and we're gonna use them with a gerund, meaning that we have to use I am for the verb, okay? Negative statements, let's say, I don't mind, I don't mind. I don't I don't I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't I can't I can't don't mind, can't stand, yes? I can't stand, what is the meaning? Can't stand is no soporto. Okay. Soporto. Yeah. I don't mind is no, me da igual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, I don't mind, all right? We're, what we're going to do is this, okay? We're going to do one personal example using each expression, all right? And the other person has to respond to it. Then, you take turns, then uh, the other participant says the statements and you respond to them. For example, imagine I am working with, with Rina, are you there? Yes. Oh, Rina, for example, I'm gonna start and I will say I like, um, and I need to use a verb. After the expression, I'm gonna use a verb, okay? Not a noun. So I cannot say I like soup. For example, no, I like and I need a verb. So I like uh, hiking. And Rina, what you have to tell me is, so do I, or I, I don't, or I don't. Okay, one of the answers, is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And then it, it is your turn. Go ahead, Rina. Um, so do I. 
No, no, no. You answer with one of these two, right? You either say, so do I or, oh, I don't. And now you tell me what you say, like. Um, how, sorry, I, I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. No, tell me, I like, you tell me a verb. Ah, okay, okay. I like reading. Uh -huh, exactly. So do I. Or I can say really. No, oh, I like it. Okay. Very good. Now it would be my turn to say I hate. Guys, can you mute the microphone, please? Carolina, is the microphone muted? Mm -hmm. All right. For example, I'm going to say I hate um, waking up early. What about you? <laughs> no, yeah. What about you, Rina? <laughs> Uh, so do uh, I so do I so do I so do I oh I don't right it depends on the answer so is that clear you have to do it quickly, yes right? so yeah we'll give you seven minutes maximum so let's work in pairs here we go accept please Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, I like um, um, eh, eating, eating uh, eh, hamburgers. hamburgers. I hate um, waiting for a long time. Mm -hmm. I am good eh, at driving in my car, Carolina. for example. Yes. Hello. Let Miss Hiron answer. Okay, so you're gonna say I hate driving in traffic, and then Anna has to say so do I or oh I don't. Yes. Yeah, the answer. The next example. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, she yes. Has to then. Agree or disagree? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Bueno. Okay. The first is I like to to making the exercise or doing. The exercise. The same exercise or other exercise? Uh, I think we need to we need to change the verbs and make the sentences related to the exercise. Okay. For example, uh, the first one I like um, playing football. So you uh, need to answer agree or and disagree. Okay, we we change the 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 verb. Uh huh. We need to change the verb. Okay. Something real though. For example, in the first one, I like playing football. So do I. Okay. Okay. So do I. So do I. Uh, in my case, I I like play chess. Oh, I don't. Uh -huh, <laughs> I don't. Okay. Yeah. Uh. I'm not good at using the computer. Well, I do. Okay. Well, I I'm am. I'm not good. I am. Uh, You're using the verb be, guys. Sorry? You're using the verb be. You're saying, I am good 
at using the computer. So you have to say, so am I, or neither, or I'm not. But you're using the verb be in that case. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at singing in a karaoke bar. Mm -hmm. At singing. At singing. Mm -hmm. Neither am I. Perfect. That's the way. Okay. I am not good. All right, I would like some examples, please. Um, Miss Hiron, could you give me an example, please? Well, Roxana, Guadalupe, give me an example, please. Come on, guys, quickly. Nobody. Let's just continue then. Can you hear me, guys? I hate working on Saturday. Ah, okay. So do I. Guys, I'm going to ask you something quickly. I will tell you a statement and I want you to react to it quickly, okay? So are you going to say, so do I, or are you going to say, so am I? All right, that's the question right now. Okay, can you see this? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to react to this. We studied this in one of the modules, but neither do I or neither am I. Am I? If I tell you, I, yeah, I don't like working on Saturday. How do you react? What is the response? So do I. So, so do, do I. I. Neither, neither so do I. Nope, neither do so I. Do I. It's negative. Neither it's negative. I. I don't uh -huh. like, neither do I, okay? All right, what if I tell neither you? Neither do I. Uh -huh. I like going on vacation. So do I. So do I. I am good at speaking English. So, so do I. I am. I am. So am I. I am. So am I. So am I. So am I. I'm not good at singing. Neither am I. 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 Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Right. Okay. I'm good at playing sports. So am I. So am I. So am I. Perfect. Okay. I don't like listening to. Neither do I. Neither do I. All right, great. I didn't finish the sentence, but it is correct. <laughs> okay, so look, here's a list of verbs that require you to use a gerund. Let's make some examples, okay? But in general, guys, any expressions? Can you mute the microphones, please? So in general, remember that after any preposition, after all prepositions, we're going to use a gerund. Okay, that is the reason why when you're saying I am good at dancing. Guys, can you move the microphone, please? Everybody? That's better. All right, that is the reason why when we say I am good at dancing, we use ing because this is a preposition, okay? What if I tell you I am interested in, can you tell me a verb? Learning. Working. English, yes. Why? Because this is the general rule. Okay. The books tell you to memorize all the expressions like to be good at, be interested in. Okay. Don't, don't memorize it. If you see a preposition, you know you have to use ing. Period. Okay. Okay. So you don't need to memorize it. Here's a preposition. Okay. And here's a preposition. If you see a preposition, you need a gerund. Simple as that. All right. Now there are some verbs for which you will have to memorize the structure. We already practiced some of those, which is like, love, hate, don't mind. Right. Those require you to use ing. And now I would like us to practice with uh, some other verbs. Let's look at some examples. So we have, um, you know what? Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Forget. Forget shouldn't be in this list because forget, it can be followed by adjourned or an infinitive but the, the meaning is going to change. So what we're going to do is, well, take a look at this if you need to do the exercise, but what we're gonna do is um, work with some other verbs, okay? So admit, we can say, for example, I admitted, tell me an action. Using admit. Or do you need help? This is a verb. So after the verb, we're gonna use another one and it has to be with ing. For example, imagine that you went to a party but you never told your mother, right? So I admitted going to that party. Here's a gerund, okay? Another example. Let's do one with advice. So she advised 
tell me a verb. Run buying. Two. She advised buying a new phone. Right? Here is ing, and that is a verb. This is something you have to memorize, okay? But you can also learn it through practice. So we can say we we as a class, guys, we prefer what? We prefer writing or speaking. What do you prefer? Speaking. I prefer speaking. So as a class, we prefer speaking. Right. There it is. Okay. Um, all right, guys, are you writing on your notebook? Are you taking notes or you're not? Yes, I'm taking notes. So if you're taking notes, please take notes of this. Forget, um, regret, missed a void, consider denied, let me forget. Okay. These two are not part of the list. Okay. Take them off the list. Esto quítenlo de esa lista, no deberían estar acá. It is possible, all right? But the meaning, the thing is that you can use gerund or, or infinitive. But what's going to happen is that there will be a change in the meaning. So it's not limited to gerunds, okay? But the other ones are. What is regrets? Regret, for example. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Eh, arrepentirse, como lamentar, ajá. All right. Okay. I'm going to send you Regret. some questions, okay? Um, or, no, something easier. Work with this okay. list, all right? And make some examples, but as quickly as you can. So let's work in small groups. Do you have any questions? Work with all of them except forget and regret. Make one example. Let's make one example for each one. Working groups. Yes, but but we can see you, teacher. No, I'm making small groups for you to write one example. No understand. Give me one second. Accept the invitation if you get it. Can you hear me? Yes, did you get the invitation? Everybody is on the um, meeting rooms right now. Let me assign you to one.
I, I begin, begin, I begin, uh, Voy a poner. Uh, English music. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> I post postponed buying my house. <laughs> Are you guys done working on the examples? Sorry, Rina and Roxana, are you working on the examples? Um, teacher, we don't know what we have to do exactly. I sent a message on the and I sent the image with the verbs. It says write an example per verb, the verbs from the list. So we have one example with admit, advise, appreciate, avoid. You get it? Check what's up. Okay. Okay. She appreciate me. Hi, are you working on the exercises? On the sentences? Después del verbo. Ajá. I am consider working July. in the in the Sunday. Oh, okay. Deny. 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 Vamos a ver. Uh, I deny. I deny. I I don't. I deny uh, uh, eating uh, uh, rock Burger. rock music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can say angel. You can say I deny eating your burger. <laughs> Niego okay. comerla, o sea, no me la, no. Okay. Um, the next is discuss. Um, 